Hi guys, I'm definitely an alien, and today I'll be reading one of the best fan fictions in the world, called My Immortal. I'll be reading chapters 1, 2, and 3. It is originally by fanfiction.net user xxxbloodywrist666xxx, also known as Tara Gillsby. Chapter 1. Author's note. Special fangs, get it? Because I'm a gothic. To my new GF. Ew, not in that way. Raven, bloody tears 666 for helping me with the story and spelling. You rock. Justin, you're the love of my depressing life. You rock, too. MCR rocks. Hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way, and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid-back, and icy blue eyes like limpid tears, and a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. Author's note, if you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was, because he's a major fucking hottie. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England, where I'm in seventh year. I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell. And I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, today I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it and a black leather miniskirt, pink fishnets, and black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put up my middle finger at them. Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? I asked. Nothing. Thing, he said shyly. But then, I heard my friends call me, and I had to go away. Author's note. Is it good? Please tell me things. Chapter 2. Author's note. Things to Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the chapter. BTW, perhaps stop playing my story, okay? The next day, I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony inside, and it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and and took of one of my giant MCR t-shirt, which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears, put my hair in a kind of messy bun. My friend, Willow, author's note, Raven, this is you, woke up and then grinned at me. She flipped her long, waist-length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forced green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets, and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. OMFG. I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah, so, I said blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room into the Great Hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. Yeah, right, she exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Hi, he said. Hi, replied flirtily. Guess what, he said. What, I asked. Well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. Oh my fucking god, I screamed. I love GC. They're my favorite band, besides MCR. Do you want to go with me, he asked. I gasped. (gasps) Chapter 3. Authors know, stop flaming the story, preps, okay? Otherwise, thanks for the gothic people for the good views. Thanks again, Raven. Oh yeah, BTW, I don't own this or the lyrics for Good Charlotte. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on a black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding. I listened to some GC. I painted my nails and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood and I was ready to go to the concert. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a Simple Plan t-shirt. They would be playing at the show, too. Baggy black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. Author's note, a lot for cool boys wear it, okay? Hi, Draco. I said in a depressed voice. Hi, Ebony. He said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate was 666. And flew out of the place with the concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. 
When we got there, we hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You're coming cold, you're covered in blood. They're all so happy you've arrived. The doctor cuts your cord, hands it to your mom. She sets you free into this life. I don't own the lyrics to that song. Joel is so fucking hot. I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looked sad. What's wrong? I asked as you moshed the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you. I said. Really? Asked Draco sensitively as he put his arm around me all protective. Really? Besides, I don't even know Joel. And he's going on with Hillary fucking Duff. I, I fucking hate that little bitch. I said disgustedly, thinking about her ugly blonde face. The night went on really well. And I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got GC concert tees. Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back to Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the cart into the Forbidden Forest.